<laughs> finally a piece of good news. Finally a piece of good news. Now, the BBC licence fee to be abolished in 2027 and funding frozen. Government announcement will force the broadcaster to make deep cuts to its programme budget. So, I know that a lot of Yanks and everybody else around the world there makes fun of this stuff. Uh, yes, in Britain, you needed to pay monthly for a TV licence. But there were certain ways where you didn't have to pay it. For example, if you don't watch the BBC and you don't watch live television, then you don't have to pay pay for it. However, even if you've got a tele, like TV licensing agents would come to your house and peek in your living room window. And if you had a TV, even if you didn't watch the BBC and you didn't watch a live TV, they would still force you to try and pay for a TV license all the time. So and basically. You couldn't even go, can I have a TV that doesn't get the BBC then? No, you couldn't do that. Every single TV came with it. So basically, to have a TV, you also had to pay a TV licence. I, however, when I first moved into my own place, I paid my TV licence for about maybe six months. And then I realised this is fucking stupid. I don't even watch TV. I use it to watch like movies and DVDs so they can fuck off and I stopped paying it. And I did get a visit. And all you need to do is tell them, I'm not answering any of your questions. No, you can't come in. Please leave my property. And then they fuck off because they have absolutely no legal powers whatsoever. They'll try and threaten you and frighten you, which they do to a lot of old ladies. They do that all the time. Like old, See, most of the people, I would say about 80% of people that are still paying their TV license are all the oldies. All the people that are like 60 and above. I believe that those are the only people still paying their TV licenses because see during the 60s and 70s and 80s as well or the BBC did all manner of fear mongering about the TV licenses and one of the funniest things and you can look this up like people in Britain no doubt know about this but Americans probably won't they had TV detector vans and it was this van with like this big aerial array on it it, look, it looked like something that some mad scientist whipped up in his workshop and apparently it could detect if there was a TV in a house and they could tell if you were lying. And they would like scan a house and go, they've got a TV, but that address doesn't have a TV license. Like, I swear to Google the pictures of them. It's fucking hilarious. It's fucking funny. Just excuse me a moment. I drink so much right now. Fucking liquid sugar. But yeah. They would like send people threatening letters, threaten them at their door. The TV license guys turn up like a couple of bouncers. They can't do shit. You can tell them to fuck right off, which many of us have in our times. But it seems that the BBC license fee is now going to be scrapped. And I think that's fantastic. Now, again, people may be asking, oh, why, did, why does the BBC ask for a license fee? It's because on the BBC, there are no adverts. There are no adverts on uh, the BBC, which... It's nice. I'll, I'll admit that it's it's nice that there are no adverts on the BBC because I usually the only time I tune into the BBC is for David Attenborough. That's the only reason I do it. So they get all of their money for all their TV shows and programs and funding and wages and blah blah blah, all from TV licenses. Whereas all the other channels just do what everyone else does and uh, and uh, runs adverts. But the BBC allegedly gets no funding from the government. And they say that they are completely unbiased, not controlled by the government, even though the government sort of like mandates that you need to pay the TV licenses and all this stuff. And they say it so they remain unbiased, even though everyone's known for a very long time that the BBC are the propaganda wing of the government. Everyone's known that for ages. So like not, none of us are even buying that shit anymore. The BBC will have to make deep cuts to its programme budgets after the government said the broadcaster's funding would be frozen for the next two years, with the licence fee abolished completely in 2027. The Culture Secretary, Nadine Dorris, is expected to confirm that the cost of an annual licence required to watch television and access iPlayer services will remain at £159 until 2024 before rising slightly for the following three years. She says that this would be the end of the current licence fee funding model for the BBC, raising doubts about the long-term financial future and editorial independence uh, of the public service broadcaster under a Conservative government. 
Dory said, uh, this licence fee announcement will be the last. The days of the elderly being threatened with prison sentences and bailiffs knocking on doors are over. Time now to discuss and debate new ways of funding, supporting and selling great British content. And the BBC has fell off over the years. And one thing that I've seen people complain about online, like comedians and stuff who've worked for the BBC, is the main reason that shows uh, don't, like get put on anymore or the shows aren't as big and as as extravagant as they used to be is because over time more and more people are realizing yeah all i all i have to do is just not watch the bbc and i don't have to pay this then guess what i'm not watching the bbc and i'm not fucking paying it so and all the old people who were like conditioned to pay it they're all dying off so every year the bbc has been getting less and less money and as a result the programming has suffered because that's what all the comedians that work with the BBC were saying was the reason that we had this great show and then the show got cancelled is because the BBC had no money. They had no money. They didn't have anywhere near as much money as, you know, the big giant like company, media companies and they're able to put on some mental shows, you know, like Amazon with Jeremy, Jeremy Clarkson and all that. The decision, confirmed by government sources, was briefed to the media as part of a range of measures designed to shore up public support for Boris Johnson after he has faced calls to resign as Prime Minister. Now, that's the thing is, like, the BBC licence fee is garbage, right? The, I, I, any type of payment imposed on people by the government is bad. Any and all. For example, fucking taxes, right? Now, even though Boris Johnson clearly is just doing this to sort of say, I, I've scrapped a, I've scrapped a TV license fee, blah, 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 like just trying to recover his image. Okay, Boris Johnson's a piece of shit, but hey ho, I don't care where the good thing comes from as long as it's good. Uh, the BBC will have to negotiate with the government over an entirely new funding model when the final license fee funding deal expires in 2027 with potential options including a subscription service, part privatisation or direct government funding. Uh, <laughs> direct government funding, oh yeah, cause, because it doesn't get that at all currently. Uh, the Mail on Sunday quoted an ally of Doris as saying there will be a lot of anguished noises about how it will hit popular programmes, that, but they can learn to cut waste like any other business. This will be the last BBC licence fee negotiation ever. Work will start next week on a midterm review to replace the charter with a new funding formula. It's over for the BBC as they know it. They're just going to do adverts. I mean, that's, I mean, that's what makes sense. Uh, the source added, the days of state-run TV are over and praised the growth of US-run private sector companies such as Netflix and YouTube. Although the BBC will continue to receive $3.2 billion a year in licence fee income, the costs of making its programmes are increasing rapidly due to rising inflation. Oh, it turns out even they can be affected by inflation and competition from the likes of Netflix. As a result, the corporation will have to make hundreds of millions of pounds in spending cuts in order to balance its books. If the BBC had been allowed to increase the licence fee in line with inflation, currently at 5.1%, the annual cost would have risen to £167 in April. The BBC has already made substantial cost savings behind the scenes, meaning the next round of cuts are likely to hit on-air services. As a result, the public should prepare for the BBC to provide less high-end drama and sports coverage, pad schedules with cheaper programmes and potentially close some channels or services altogether. This could in turn erode support for the BBC if the public no longer feel they are receiving value for money from the licence fee. And that's a lot of things that's happened as well is basically the BBC have other things like BBC Three, BBC Four, BBC Radio One, Two, and Three. They've got a bunch of different channels, and obviously, the higher you go up the number, the less viewership it has. Which is why uh, when someone's like emails me and goes, "Oh, would you like to do an interview?" and I'm like, "Oh, cool. What for?" Oh, yeah, it's BBC Seven. I'm like, "No, you're all right. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. I'm good. I'm good." Uh, <laughs> But um, yeah, and, and basically any new TV shows they come out with, they're going to be crap. They're going to be like low budget things because they just, frankly, they don't have the fucking money for it. Uh, the new license fee deal will cover a five year period to 2027 with the cost of the public likely to rise in the final three years. Although this increase could also be at a below inflation rate, meaning further cuts to BBC output could be required. 
Uh, Dory's ally says there would be no further license fee deal under the Johnson government and they would start negotiations on an entirely new funding model for the corporation. The BBC's existence and ability to raise money is underpinned by a royal charter that expires at the end of 2027. The BBC has already been preparing for the end of the license fee, which proposals included which proposals including a universal levy on broadband subscriptions or funding the broadcaster with a grant from general taxation. So basically, they're still going to force you to pay for the propaganda. Uh, although this could undermine its editorial independence and leave it even more at a whim of a government anger, making the BBC a paid for subscription service similar to Netflix is difficult. No, it's not. It's already as you're doing that currently right now with the TV license, except it's a paid for you know, by force subscription service. Uh, sorry, subscription uh, assumes choice. Uh, there is no choice. Uh, it's difficult due to the widespread popularity of broadcast radio and free view television services, which cannot be put behind a paywall. Uh, negotiations over the amount the BBC can charge for the licence fee have been ongoing for some time, with a final deal delayed by Doddy's appointment in the autumn. Uh, the government has repeatedly criticised the Corporation News' output, claiming that it, claiming it is biased against the government and linking negative coverage of the Prime Minister to the licence fee negotiations. Because let's be, let's be real, Boris is uh, fucking up. Uh, the BBC has faced a repeated uh, deep real-term spending cuts since the start of the Tory Liberal Democrat coalition government in 2010, with the Conservatives forcing the broadcaster to pay for free licence fees for over 75s, then blaming it when they took the benefit away. The BBC source said of the licence fee proposals, there has been similar speculation before. They are very good. There are very good reasons for investing in what the BBC can do for the British public and the creative industries and the UK around the world. Anything less than inflation would put unacceptable pressure on BBC finances and after-year cuts. And there's just the Guardian begging for money because they're also not doing very well. But yeah, I've explained what the licence fee is. It's basically any, <laughs> anything where a, a government or an institution uh, comes in and uh, demands that you pay money uh, either you know, under penalty of law for shit that you don't want and don't need. Yeah, I'm against it. So yeah, the licence fee getting scrapped, yep, that's absolutely fine. If BBC want to start using advertisers where... To be honest, I think it's what they should fucking do. They should just start having adverts and that way the money will start pouring in and they will be able to fucking uh, make big shows and actually have a budget uh, to make some massive, huge programming shows. And I, mean, I think that's what they should do uh, instead of uh, forcing people to fucking pay them and using the government as a wing to make them do it. So yeah, the, BB, the, the TV licence fee was always a dumb fucking meme. It was stupid. It was crap. Oh, but it allows the BBC to remain completely impartial and unbiased and all that, even though uh, we're not at the whim of the government, but we're going to use the government to make sure that you pay this licence fee that we will impose upon you and take you to court over. Ah, uh, you know what? Fuck him. Fuck him. Anyway, good riddance. Uh, R.I.P. Bozo.